So, uh, hello to this little tutorial. As you could see on the thumbnail, how to extend your like uh, context menu like this with sub menus and sub comments. <clears throat> so, let's jump into virtual machine and show how to how to use it. <clears throat> and we have two methods. Uh, the first one is using a program called Winario Tweaker. Um, so let's jump into it. Uh, firstly, we want to disable this ribbon you want, uh, this menu because yeah, this menu works with that one, not with this one. So we will jump into Winario Tweaker. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Um, and. Here is the Windows 11 category, and firstly we have to disable like hmm, uh, classic full context menu. Uh, enable it, just restart the Explorer because it's required, and then well, we have the default context menu. So using the Winner Tweaker, we can use the context menu to add co a lot of things like with a new we have. Uh, bad CMD registry and VBS file, which will appear here. As you can see, everything is here. Um, advanced start up, startup options, um, yeah, not very useful. There's a lot of options that you can actually add. Like, my personal favorite, to be honest, are like um, personalization menu and take ownership because it's useful a lot. Task manager. Yeah, normally on Windows 10, 11, uh, you don't have the task, uh, task manager option here. It's only task for settings, so yeah. Um, we also have the owner, user accounts, and other, a lot of stuff that you can actually use. Not every single option will appear on the default context menu. A couple of them will appear like here, like here, take ownership. Uh, so yeah you can use it mm. and the second thing now we are going to add like uh, uh, our custom menus not from this one but our own context menu tweaks that I shown in, on my desktop so firstly we are going to go to registry editor look at it it will ask for admin prompt, but since I am on default administrator account, it won't. And we will go to the path uh, classes root. Then we are going to desktop background. Uh, wait, classes root? Yeah. Uh, desktop background. And we have shell. Um, and in the shell, we are going to add our option, like uh, I'm going to create a new uh, Chrome, for example, because I have Chrome installed. And in the Chrome, uh, I'm going to put a new string value called icon. This is, as the name says, icon of the menu. So I'm going to use like a, a icon from Chrome. Um, uh, copy. Where is copy path? Um, options, no. Name, copy. Copy path, okay, it's here. Uh, I don't like Windows 11 me menu, so I'm going to put it here. And you see, I already have something here. The, we are going to add a new value code my verb, which is the name of the sub menu. Uh, launch Google Chrome, and it's renamed. Nextly, we want to add a position where we want that. It will be, for example, top. We have top, middle, and bottom, so top is here. And then we are going to add a sub key for Chrome called a uh, command. Command? What? Uh, yeah, command. And in command, we are going to add the path 
of the application. So whenever I click like this, it will open the Chrome. So yeah. <laughs> and now we are going to add a sub menu uh, because we want like this uh, uh, menu. A couple of options from the settings or something like this. So now we are going to add like a custom sub menu. So in shell we are going to add a new, uh, for example, system tools. Uh, in the new one we are going to make a sub keys, sub key for now. Shell. In sys tools we are going to add a do two string values called icon and. Uh, my verb icon let's drag one of the system 32 uh, or, okay so I have a couple of icons from the pack that I don't want it one time and this time let's use this icon as a system tool so I'm going to copy a path to that and just paste icon and I have this new library uh, system tools. In the shell, I'm going to add other options, but also in the system tools, uh, I want to add a position, uh, which will be bottom, and new key called sub uh, not menu, commands, sub commands, which is empty, and it will leave us with. Uh, this this icon uh, so in the shell I'm going to add 01 uh, for example registry edit uh, and then I'm going to add disk cleanup this is like an example so yeah 02 disk uh, clean Okay, like this. It's uh, it, registry editor doesn't like spaces, so and I have this. Like, like I can rename it as as I want, but I'm doing this just because it's much easier. Uh, in red, get it. I'm going to do the same as in like Chrome. So, firstly, I'm going to add two sub comments to uh, sub keys to. This every single key called command. Uh, with the command, I'm going to red regid it and clean uh, these clean up and open file location because I need like a uh, full name of the application that I want. Okay, oh, this one I also should like yeah. Right, exe. <clears throat> now uh, string value icon again. Uh, if icon will be edited, exe. I'm going to do the same here. The clean manager. Um, new i verb. Uh, Register editor and with a clean uh, my verb, which will be disk clean up. And let's test it out. I'm going to say, like, go to system tools and register editor. Registry editor, I. Not display. Uh, why? Registry editor works, and now I need to fix the disk cleanup because I forgot. Uh huh. I I put it in the wrong place, so yeah. Icon. And now new I verb. And we have this disk cleanup, which works. As you can see, it works. So we have proper sub menu. 
Well, if you want, you can also add like sub menu into sub menu, but you know how to do sub menu once, so you get how to do the second one. And that's it, how to like create your own custom sub menu and use the presets from Winaya uh, Tweaker that I just shown you. Link to this program will be in the description, link to the path also will be in the description because it's much easier to find. And that's it, I can say. More tutorials soon, if I'll figure it out. <laughs>